almost there. Oh my god. This is insane. Come on. This is amazing. I know future me is probably trying to make that intro cinematic, but this key card isn't working, so. Good morning. We are doing a day in the life of a hybrid athlete and hopefully not the corny grind set hybrid. I feel like the hybrid athlete name has been a little bit tainted. So I'm here to bring it back. We're here in Miami and come on, come on. Check out that view. Not too bad. Assault bike right here, just in case you want to assault yourself on the balcony here. Um, but there's a tropical storm slash hurricane coming in right now. So I don't know if you can hear the wind or see that the ocean is uh, moving. The ocean's always moving, but that's all waves from the wind. It is around 6.15 a.m. We've got a jam-packed day of work and hybrid athlete activities. So that's the thing that I wanted to share in this video is I have multiple jobs and different paths in my career that I'm currently on. So I hope to share how I train for the High Rocks currently and Ironman's ultra marathons, the same schedule, same principles that have applied for all of the hybrid athlete feats that I've done. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do amidst a busy day of work. A lot of times on social media, you'll see hybrid athletes doing incredible things, but that's all they do. They get paid to do that. They make money from supplement companies, sponsors, whatever. I do not, as you can tell by my 600 subscriber YouTube channel. So I'm going to share some stuff along the way in a busy day at how you can fit in workouts around a super busy schedule. Rule number one, sleep on an air mattress at your friend's place. It's just 10 out of 10. Your whoop score is going to be a thousand out of a hundred every single morning. Um, no matter what, if you do it for multiple weeks, it's even better. On the road again. Lobby. <laughs> And now we just wait for our chauffeur. We're gonna stand in the tropical storm. What's it called, Hurricane something? Helen. 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 Hurricane um, Helen. That's a sick a name. One. Hurricane Helen sounds like the name of a roller, do roller derby uh, character. Hurricane Helen. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Guys, this is Scotty Thompson, Scotty Thick here, and we're getting into the gym. Oh, I already biked 500k this morning, ran 200 miles. Did you do your meditation and read your books? No, but I did perennial sun in the wind. <laughs> it's a tropical storm. <laughs> so the next part of my day, we are here at an elite basketball training facility because as a hybrid athlete, I am destined for the NBA very shortly. So I'm probably gonna lay down some dunks today. I think we just got dunks on deck. I don't know what all this jazz is. It doesn't look that cool, but. We might mess around with some of that, I think. Go Max, come on. Cash! All right, double chunk chocolate cookie, let's see it. Ah. <laughs> oh, let's go! I got, I'll edit them out, don't worry. Nope. <laughs> Fuck, cut it out! Alright guys, we are wrapping up a full filming session in Better Body HQ here. If you guys need some home gym equipment, hit the link down below. That is a company that I'm a part of, Better Body Equipment, on top of online coaching and some other stuff that I do. But we were filming a bunch of content this morning. This is our new Arsenal Power Rack. It is a cable system, it is a power rack, it has a pull-up bar, it has storage at the back. It is sweet as someone who's been an athlete and a gym goer for a long time. It is the ultimate home gym setup. This is our morning, it's around 10 a.m. right now. The guys are in a meeting. I'm gonna wrap up here and then we're gonna go home, eat. I did have a Lenny's and Larry's little secret snack on the way because Max uh, 
brought us a little surprise. We have a run later on. We're going to do a run club, which is very exciting, at a special place with some cool people. But you're going to have to wait to see who that is. We did it last week. I'm really, really pumped for it. It was super fun. And that's going to be 5K. And then we're going to sneak another little Metcon or a bike ride in today as well. I'm less than nine days out from High Rocks right now. So we're starting the taper as is, but we're probably going to have some big sessions just because I'm with the boys here in Miami over the next week. So it won't really be the best taper, to be honest. I'll probably be training pretty hard over the next week. In the meantime, we're going to go home. We're going to eat. We're going to do a little bit of work. We brought a squat rack back with us in the back of the truck for an exciting video and content for better body that you're gonna see shortly first food some work see you there up we got home we ate oh my god what are you doing in here <laughs> this is my tent all this this is so we got home we ate i didn't show you what we ate i'll show you that before we go to run club because it's pretty much the exact same meal every single day a lot of creators on youtube and instagram will make their diet look super interesting if you're here for that that ain't me i'm just not very good at cooking or making a diet interesting as max knows we all ate the same food breakfast lunch and dinner for a month like a month on end whether it was in a kitchen or in the back of a rental car in an heb parking lot it's always been the same diet pop the photo up pop the photo up editor scott right here so i'm just here crushing a little bit of work and the hurricane is incoming there is a hurricane hitting florida it's not going to hit here thankfully but uh Curtis said there's three coming now there's three different storms triple hurricane my first time in miami and the ultimate trifecta hurricane storm hit. They don't want you to leave. I think the point of this video is a lot of times you'll see people creating social media content around athleticism and hybrid athlete kind of events and stuff like that. And it seems like they just have way more time in their day than everybody else. And truth is they probably do because a lot of people get paid to do stuff like this and make social media content. Now, some people are full blown business owners and they have kids and they make time for it, but a lot of people have abnormal schedules. So I want to show you guys how I kind of fit training in around a pretty demanding work life whether it's online coaching or better body we're sitting here we're just kind of grinding out hours it's not that interesting i could have just put a time lapse up of me working and i still will but i kind of make fun of that a lot of times in my videos where it's like just grinding grinding 24 7 up nice and early at five in the morning got a workout in because we had to go to the gym and shoot content do a bunch of stuff so we had to get that workout out of the way my biggest recommendation is if you do work a nine to five you do have kids anything like that set your schedule up so that your workouts are most likely to get done in that time slot that you put them in. A lot of times that is the morning. You have to get up early and get your session in, whether it's a run or whether it's a workout. So this afternoon, we have a run club that we're gonna go do, a super exciting person and gym that we're going to, to do the run club. I'm really pumped on that. I'm gonna talk more about that later. Got a little bit more work to do. We're probably gonna leave in about an hour. We're gonna eat before we go. And then I have another session later, um, Metcon style for High Rock specifically that I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here at peak. It is Hurricane Helen out here. No joke, it is rolling through Florida, but it's just windy here. No, like, full-blown hurricane. It's going to hit at 7 tonight, so this should be a pretty interesting video if it does actually hit. We're here at Peak 360 Fitness, which is where Noah Olson trains, and this is his run club. We came here last week. It was super cool. I've watched Noah forever. Met him, ran with him. It was the best. We're here now. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. This is run number two. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. with fitness and uh, making some new friends. Let's go happy but hungry on three. Ready, one, two, three. Happy but hungry. Oh, there you go, you're good. Get out of here. I don't know, just get out of here. Run. 
I was really stressed. All right, guys, Run Club done. It was a blast. So much fun. Hey, Noah Olson, Happy But Hungry Run Club. Shout out. If you guys are in Miami, check it out. Where are we now, Coop? The best spot in the world. Best spot in the world? Aldi, baby. You guys can hear me? All right, we made it home. Aldi, grocery haul, success. This is an Amazon order. Energy drinks, Jello. Oh, razor. That's from my uh, balls later. This. Oh. I haven't done a great job today at showing you guys uh, typically what I eat, but we've been eating the same thing for weeks now, yeah. And we all eat very similarly. Tortillas, chicken, rice, all the basics. Oh, don't look at the chips, ahoy. We got chicken, we got ketchup, we got yogurt over there, all the chicken. Chocolate. Here, chocolate, Coop's uh, skier bowl chocolate. That was called skier bowl? Mm-hmm. Oh, we got some bananas, we got some yogurt cheese slices. The boys have put me under these. We're gonna put all this away. I have one more session to do today, and then a little bit more work. We're gonna eat, and then wrap this thing up. I guess that's locked? I don't know why. Um, maybe I didn't, I don't know. I thought it was 24 seven. Should I try again? I feel like I should try again. It's only 8.30, there's no way it's locked. Okay. Five a.m. to 11 p.m. I could text the guys right now and get them to let me in, but I kind of just want to go for a run and get this over with. Because it's 8 30, so I think we're going to go outside, I guess. All right, I guess we'll just go outside. I'll find like 400 meter loop, I guess. I don't really know where. I'm not from here, so I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out. I forgot there's a fing hurricane happening in Florida right now. Like, this is. All right, this session might not really go as planned. Um, I'm gonna try my best, mostly for YouTube, to be honest. There's a, f of course, treadmills aren't available and I have to run in a hurricane. Look at this. I don't know if it's translating, but this is f I hope my boat's gonna be okay in this storm. You guys think, think it'll be okay? Okay, I think I found a calmer area. By the seawall was absolutely insanity. But the session today is supposed to be 10 by 400. So as long as I total four kilometers at a pretty hard RP, I'm happy, given the fact that I'm doing it in a tropical storm. Hurricane Helen, to be exact. So if you don't do this, if you don't run in a tropical storm, then you're not staying hard and getting hard to hard rock. Yeah. Okay, we're halfway. I'm actually feeling pretty good, fast. Here at the Heat Stadium, where the Heat play, which is pretty cool. I didn't know this was so close to where we are. I got 10 seconds more rest. Basically, 400 meter repeats, usually on a track or treadmill, as hard as I can, ideally under a 430 pace. There's fireworks over there. Wait, see that? Where am I? How did I end up here? This is why you should go run in a tropical storm. Anyway, oh, I'm supposed to be running. We're gonna do 10 rounds, four kilometers total. Usually it would end up being six because I warm up for a kilometer, then run 10. But I just don't really feel like it because I'm in a tropical storm and I ran 5K already. Um, it's supposed to be a taper workout. So yeah, we're going to run home two more kilometers and then we're done for the day. That was, that was insane. That was fireworks, tropical storm, wind, running. Are you not entertained? <laughs>
sleep. All right, it is the next day. I always try to close out these videos the next day because especially if it's nighttime, I'm always beat. Check out the view right now. It's a stunning day here in Miami. Let's have a little assault bike chat. So this video was, I just wanted to create it because the day in the life hybrid athlete stuff, hybrid athlete, I feel like that's been tainted on social media, but I wanted to provide a little bit of like real insight into what training sometimes looks like with a real schedule. Whether you are an entrepreneur, you work a nine to five, got kids, you've got a busy schedule. A lot of stuff on social media, YouTube can be uh, very unrealistic and it seems like people just have undivided time to do nothing but work out. And some people do because their job is fitness or is social media. I'm not that guy. I have three jobs. I work for Better Body Equipment. I also have online coaching and then I still do some in-person training when I'm back home and not traveling. So I have a very busy schedule and I tend to work seven days a week and 10 to 12 hours a day on average. So showing you guys what it typically looks like fitting workouts early in the morning or late at night or in the middle of the day when I have an hour and just trying to be realistic. So you guys saw I had a scheduled training session at 400 meter intervals, but then we had an opportunity to do a run club. So especially with better body equipment and business opportunities, we can't pass those things up. So fitting in the social aspect and something that's fun and something where we're going to make connections here in Miami, but then also I still got to get my session in, especially as I'm tapering for high rocks. I need to be as on track as possible, making sure that I'm fitting my food in, all of those things. So I wanted to share this with you guys as a normal day. It's not a normal day. I'm here in Miami. I'm traveling. It's a little bit different, but it's showing you I work all day and then I also fit a lot of training in around it. So I hope that helps. I hope it gives you a little bit of insight into how to schedule your day. Get things done in the morning that you know are unlikely to get done later in the day. So you have to get up at five or six and sometimes you have to do that in order to get your training session in. You can also move sessions around. I'm a big believer in the organic factor of life and sometimes pushing a session to the next day is the best decision because that session isn't gonna be quality, it's gonna be rushed, you don't feel good, whatever. There's nothing wrong. As long as at the end of the week you hit your volume, you hit your intensity, you nailed all the things, you're going to be okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really enjoying doing YouTube again and trying to be more consistent with it. It's super fun and I hope to provide some value in the process. So we're going to wrap it up there. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay in the work and we'll see you in the next one.